got a first timer here for e-collar training. So this is Denali. She's never had an e-collar on before. So I've got her uh, level figured out. She's actually got a nice low level. She's on a level four. Um, and so right now we're trying to build a positive association for the e-collar. The reason that I'm choosing to do e-collar with her right now is because she's kind of wishy-washy on her obedience. Um, she listens for the most part. She listens pretty well, but she's not as on point as I would like for her to be. Denali, sit. Good. Good girl. So what this is doing for her is it's breaking down a communication barrier. So instead of her having to wonder if I'm talking to her, she's got the stem tickling her on the neck and telling her, hey, someone's talking to you right now. Denali, sit. Good. Much more responsive. So. When we were doing this yesterday, she uh, was, I would tell her to sit, and she would kind of think about it for a minute, kind of mull it around in her head. You could see the wheels turning, but she wasn't quite getting the full sit just yet. Denali, sit, good, good girl, very good. So she's working for her food right now. This is her dinner for the day. So I'm also gonna start with a callback. I really like doing callbacks with this on day one, and the reason that I like to do the callback with this is because she gets the treat almost immediately, and it's almost immediately paired with the stem, so it starts to teach her that, hey, this is a good thing, someone's talking to you, you might get something good. So now we come. Good girl, good girl. videos on Facebook's free training tips. I uh, never know who you might help. <laughs> 